Do you know something? You know this is the happiest month for shaitan? Have you ever thought about it? I know I think of all these craziness, eh? I wonder why. You ever think why this is the happiest month for shaitan? Yeah, this is the happiest Ramadan for Satan. Why? Every year Satan is on lockdown. And this year, millions of Muslims on lockdown. So Satan is like, wow, you guys think I'm uh, alone on lockdown this year? I got a lot of Muslims with me. I am on lockdown and they are on lockdown. So don't pick yourself to lockdown. Eh? If your state is opened up, and your masjid and your state and city, it's permissible to go to masjid, go. Don't make excuses. There are a lot of people who love to make excuses. Listen, 45 years of da'wah, alhamdulillah. The kind of excuses I've heard from Muslims before COVID-19 and coronavirus, people have always been making excuses. The majority of people have always been making excuses. Never Juma on time, missing Juma, not going fasting, Never going to the masjid, can't have find time to read Quran, Shagalatna, Amwaluna, Wa Ahluna, as the verses a little while ago, chapter 48, verse 11, they're making excuses of what? Their career, their job, their business, their family. No, people have been making these excuses before coronavirus. So now when you hear about all the benefits of staying home, wow, people are happy. A lot of people are just more happy, you know. Don't fool yourself, you know. There were a lot of people who were sad. People whose hearts are connected to the masjid. What? Wolog just got dill. Their hearts are connected to the mosque and the masjid. They felt sad. They would weep. And they would grieve that they can't go and get jamaat. Bill, jamaat, the blessings. Yeah, I know you heard all the virtues of staying home, staying home, staying home, mashallah. I'm talking about the people who are always staying home before coronavirus. The people who always made excuses. I've been around 45 years now of dawah. I have heard those excuses. I've seen those excuses. And I've seen people collapse because of the excuses. As I see a lot of businessmen nowadays who used to lie. That business was bad and now they're saying shake things bad boy business going down i said but you have been saying that years now when allah was giving you you were saying it going down now he's taking it back and you're saying the same thing you know what you should consider that a blessing maybe that he's given us a wake-up call wake-up call coronavirus covid 19 is a wake-up call so we could do more good deeds and we could do more good deeds my brothers and sisters, don't forget, and before I conclude the khutbah, inshallah, I want to remind myself and you of this verse because last week I wanted to tell you that, but because of the time we could not.